Welcome to Loch Ness. Hopefully this video will clear up some confusion with mechanics, most notably the boat controls and then moving on to the core game loop. When you find yourself on the log, remember, it's A to paddle with the left oar and D to paddle with the right oar. And don't forget that you can break Q to break with the left oar and E to break with the right oar. To turn sharply, you have to break with the side you want to turn and paddle with the other oar. So to rotate left, you break with the left and then paddle with the right and vice versa. If you have simplistic boat controls enabled, you can simply click S to row with both the oars. Always take care when paddling as the boat rocks. This could lead to a cold demise. We've broken down the game loop into four stages. Stage one, seek warmth. Warm areas in the log indicate life. These areas are your best bet when trying to find life in the log. For more information, look in the handbook for the exact temperatures to be wary of. Stage two, research and gather. There are two main ways to lure out Nessie, using fish or sound. Using the former method, you're gonna to have to grab a DNA scanner and search for an abnormal reading. The handbook, again, is a good reference. To get evidence of sound, you must have an audio sensor and listen out for sounds that could attract Nessie. Stage three, confronting the beast. Here is where you combine what you've found on the lock with the underwater camera technology. Attach what you have to the camera to attract the beast. Take care with this step, as Nessie is known to be aggressive when aggravated. Stage four, Report your findings. Get back to the safety of the RV and get out of there. Great, you have survived. Interact with the steering wheel will end the game and bring up the publication of your findings. Here, you can see how much evidence you have received for doing what, and if you were successful in convincing the public of your findings. 